What's the word, UGTV family? Y'all already know what day it is. It's Wednesday. And what that means, we back at UGTV, especially with a special guest. But before I introduce that special guest, you already know who I got to introduce, my very special co-host. How you doing? Hey, what's up? What's up? Y'all already know what it is. It's Puerto Rican Die Creative. Most definitely. So we have a very special guest for y'all today. And I don't really like introducing people, but I let them introduce themselves because... They only could tell they sell better than them. How you What's doing today, my boy? What's up, man? How y'all doing? Uh, it's the KLBZ Dutch. Man, how you feeling today, man? I can't call it, but how you feeling? How you coming, man? Man, I'm feeling good, man. It's, it's blessed to understand and, like, see another artist, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, actually put in that work and come from where we come from. You see what I'm saying? Like, come from where we come from. And you doing it big right now, my boy. Yeah. I appreciate that, bro. See, man, I'm just trying to trying to do it the right way, man. So if somebody come behind me, come up and do the same shit, and we keep this shit going. Everybody get in where they fit in. So what's your what's your day to day? How do you how do you move on your day to day? Shit, my day to day, shit. I I'll try to stay working. I try to stay busy. So no matter what I'm doing, if I'm doing an interview or shooting a video or doing content with some other creator or some shit like that, I try to stay working. Like, nonstop. That's the only thing I think is work. Man, and you you speaking about work. I just did a music video with you not too long ago, you know? Yeah, like, I appreciate it. You, you yeah. made it pop. You made it pop. I appreciate you having me on that. I appreciate yeah. that. Yeah, y'all got to check that out. Yeah, for sure. It's called B-A-D-F-B-G. That's, it, it's shadow band, though. Like, to be honest, they shadow band is too much. It's too provocative, too raunchy. It's like, that shit supposed to be on, like, BT. Excuse my language. It's supposed to be on, like, BT and cut, something like that. Like Nelly Tip Drill is one of them type of joints. So, so they can't go see it on YouTube. It's it's, it's that. It's, it's just gonna have to do some searching. Like, like it's like it's like in the deep deep web part of YouTube. Like, <laughs> you gotta know what you're doing to find it. It's weird though. Like, but I get it though. You know. I mean, it is what it is. But like, okay. Other than that, you know, what's your what's your latest project that you got going on right now? Should I just drop the um? I just dropped a video like two three days ago called E2 Freestyle or um. My uh, director, my uh, um, my my movie man is Billy Cock. Yeah, he do his thing, and I just dropped a video on my YouTube channel, on my LBG Dutchy channel on YouTube. I'm uh, gonna drop another video Friday, so I'm trying to keep it rolling, keep it going. Man, it's all about that momentum in 2024. Yeah. That's what I keep so, telling everybody. It's about momentum in 2024. So, like, what are your goals for 2024 as far as like your music and your career? I'm gonna take it to another level. A level. I'm gonna take it to a level that people wouldn't expect me to take it to. I'm gonna take it to a whole nother level. I wanna bring bring energy back to the city. I wanna just I want it to be different. I want it to be organic though. I want it to be I want this year to be progression. Okay, okay, like it's gonna be you. So as far as like your music and everything and you progressing forward in that, what drives you to do what you do every single day? Be honest with you, I lost a lot of friends that I started making music with when I was a kid. And this was always our dream. Every time somebody they get put in, it don't really be untimely causes and things that are, you know, put people 10 steps back, 100 steps back. So, you know, but I gotta keep it going no matter what. My condolences to you, my condolences. What's that? Part of life. So, <clears throat> what comes with the, you know, with the, being where you from and you know being a you know I ain't gonna say you're a flashy person because I don't really know you like that but being where you from and you know you know people hate when they see you you know rising motivating reaching your goals you set certain stuff you said like how do you how do you deal with all that around you and 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 still keep it professional try to block it out that's the best thing I can do and use it it's all fuel you gotta use it it's fuel to the fire you know you got to just, I don't know, because I, sometimes it gets to me, sometimes it don't. I try to treat them like people that leave me comments on videos and pictures and stuff. To, I don't, two, three people that's down talking this, another 30, 40 that's picking you up, that's loving what you're doing. Most definitely. So as an artist, a young artist like me, like me seeing and wanting to get to where you're going, what, what, like, what would you tell them, like, like, 
what would the what would the work ethic be like what would your grind have to be on to be able to you feel me balance that it's like it's like you know how people get up, go to work every day it's the same shit regardless of what anybody think or how, how easy it look for you because you know what people see is the finished product they don't actually see what it takes for most people to get there until like the documentary or some shit come out like that excuse me man but stuff like that and they, they don't see that but you gotta like get up every day and chase what you chasing and do what you trying to do do what you gotta do like especially when you're an artist because it's oversaturated now so at the same time as you chasing what you chasing what you chase you're an artist so your art you need to be trying to perfect it if you're an artist because i look at music like art you know what i'm saying you gotta perfect it like Picasso perfected painting. You have it's art. Everything is all art. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like architect. Architecture. That should be art. If they put it together perfectly, it's gonna look so beautiful. Most definitely, most definitely, man. That's 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 a lot of wisdom to take in. Not that not ask these questions because I know a lot of them don't have the 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 drive to even ask certain questions like these because they don't believe in themselves. That's another yeah. thing. Well, what did it take for you to finally like just say, man, I'm going to do it. I'm all in with this. I believe in myself. Uh, it was a point in time I was like, and then uh, You treated it like a gym membership? Yeah, something like that. You treated it like a gym and membership? I started seeing other niggas get, not like my homie number, but I started seeing other niggas I know I'm better than them, type. You know what I'm saying? Like preparing and past even my homie them. So I'm like, nah, I gotta give it my all. You know what I'm saying? I go out fighting for as I was said and done. But I'm gonna say I put my best foot forward, and I gave them people the best I can take. I ain't chasing nothing, but I just want everybody love my music. That's the only thing I want out of it. So. And um, would you categorize your music as I something as one specific thing? I don't know why, cause I don't. I make all type of music. I wouldn't lie to you. I make all type of music. I ain't no rock star, nothing like that, but I'm, I ain't just sitting up making what they call it drill music or trap music or nothing. I'm making. I go to the studio, I'm playing beats, and whatever that beat that I do, they told me to say something. So if it come over like a love song, that's how I was feeling that day. That's what it is, because that's my man telling me to say. Yeah, most definitely. So, how many projects you think like you come up with in probably like the span of a month? In a month, I come up with like four or five projects. It's like seven days out of the week. I go in the studio, I'm, I'm gonna do at least three songs in that joint. Three, two songs, but I'm getting up for albums. Um, I go to the studio overnight. Like, I go to the studio like eight o'clock and I ain't gonna leave till like four o'clock in the morning. I was just about to ask you, like, how many hours you think you done put in to get to where you at right now? It's endless hours. I don't know about to you. I don't know. I'm telling you, like, a job, like, trying to be a basketball player. Yeah, to, like, somebody trying to chase their dreams out here, like, as a creative, because, you know, being a creative is different out here. You know, you got to put in a lot more effort than the 9 to 5. You can you can get up at the 9 to 5 and be like, all right, I got to get up at 6 a.m. All right, I got to get the kids ready, get them to school and go on and, and then so on and so forth. But as a Chicago creative or as just a creative in general, how many hours do you think would you tell people that they're going to have to expect to put in to make their dream come to a certain point of reality? I think somebody say it take like being yeah, hours or 100,000 hours, one or the other to perfect something. That's all I can tell people. So it's never going to be just, it is people that's, that's just so raw, they just break through it the first time they ever do something. I'm not going to lie. That it's possible. It's very possible for everything, but you still gotta perfect yourself. You gotta um, your sound. You gotta work on. It. You gotta find yourself. So you gotta don't take out. Oh, no, don't don't let them come overnight. Like, it seems the, the stuff fast. The stuff it's like street money. You know how it comes fast. Mm -hmm. but it goes block. faster. Yeah. You ever get yeah, writer's block? You get something fast. Yeah. Yeah. Writer's block. Yeah. That's a real thing. You just gotta get up and go do something. Right. You like like something that like completely unrelated to take your mind off of it or like my nah, like I you get writer's block. Do you ever get as a creator? I don't know, because when I get writer's block it'd be the point in time where I'm just like in a depressed or some weird shit. I can't no, explain yeah. it because when I'm sad or something, I can still make songs, but when it's like 
I'm depressed. I just shut down and I don't even try to kick it with the world. I don't want to do nothing. Stuff mm-hmm. like that. So I ain't I experiencing that. nothing to even talk about nothing. But if I get up and I'm going to go outside, I'm going to downtown to a bar tonight or something, something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have something to talk about by the end of the night. Because it's some like three, four females. He gonna said, wherever I'm at, going to be a making a movie. <laughs> they do it right up on me. Not well, even the ones that I personally want to myself. You see what I'm saying? So you going to see niggas outside fighting or whatever the case may be because you're going you gonna to experience some just stuff going on outside. You got to get up and go do something. I'm going to just like go take a trip or something. That's a whole song in itself. It's all type of stuff. You just got to lock well, in on definitely. yourself and put yourself in the, in the shoes or what. When you working on your craft, and because I don't want to go keep going too deep into it and explain it, but these good, you you giving me good answers because a lot of people don't have the courage to even like man to be like man I ain't know that I definitely didn't know that, but you could definitely learn from other people they experience by their experience like you said. So sure. when you let's just say you and your craft and you don't have writer's block but you're tired of making the same type of music how do you change that how do you how do you change your course of mm-hmm. getting your getting out of your norm change how your do you flow change that? that's what i go back to say i don't be trying to make the same song over and over for the same time i look right i'll make a song about <laughs> all that type of stuff right and then i'm gonna go to the studio for Days later, but I ain't gonna make another song for like for like four or five days. Cause I'm going to this joint to make a, a vibe song that you can ride and smoke to, a song that you can play with your lady, a song where I want ladies dancing, shaking out on cars and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, okay, I'm, I'm just be trying to stay in the same type of realm, you know, especially, and you don't want to box yourself in to no just one. That's not you. You, I don't think nobody just one faceted because you're a person. You got so many, so many layers to you. So. If you can go out there and make a R&B song, do it, little bro. If you go out there and make a rock and roll song, do it, because you got the talent to do it. Everybody ain't talented to do it. If you can be a Swiss Army knife, do it, try it. That's what I tell people. Don't just be like, I'm just going to go out and make shooting killer songs or something. Like, chill, bro. bro <laughs> chill, most bro. Definitely, most chill, definitely. Man, what that be leading people money, to. Man, you know? That's another thing, like, can you explain, like, the type, like, even though some people make that music and they do make it good, can you explain like some of the the problems that come with that music? Especially if you're not you man, especially if you're not like a lot of people get away with it and they get famous for yeah. doing it and they not like that. But especially if you're not like that, like can you explain like you? Because I know you've seen it from the inside out. I've plenty of times. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. You got it. I don't know. Um. I mean, you gotta. I don't know. It's, it's, it's weird. I can't explain it to y'all because I probably be get too deep. That ain't what I need to be talking about. But now, as hindsight, I'm always break it down like this. Y'all know a couple years back, like two, three years ago, it was an epidemic on rappers getting killed. Like, oh my God, another rapper, another rapper. Yeah. You know, the rappers that wasn't get killed, robbed, or jumped on, stabbed, the J. Coles, the Kendrick Lamar's. Niggas ain't trying them because they ain't putting themselves in that space. They ain't giving off that energy like, yeah, come see what's to me. Most definitely. You see what I'm saying? Most definitely. I ain't saying they just making songs not like, you know what I'm saying? But they be like, they might throw something here and there and then like that. But nine times out of ten, they just making music. Most definitely. But when you let them put you in a certain lane, you got to be that lane. That's who you is. You already giving off this your vibe, this your, this You just got to stick with it. You got to stick with it. You okay. see what I'm saying? So like. Any new projects you got coming out that you want to like, just that you got to the people that you want to like put some light on, or some projects that's already out that you want people to look at more? Oh, um, shit. Y'all got me scared, cuz. It's all right. It's all right, gang. Yeah, hey, that's uh, what John for. I got a lot of projects <laughs> in the making, a lot of, a lot of stuff coming. Um, I, got, I just did um, judging for the Chicago Babies Club. Y'all be on the, on the um, lookout for that. That's gonna be, I don't know, it's gonna be very That's provocative. Crazy. That's what's up. Hey man, my girl Naya was on that. That's crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go check that out. Um, I got a movie on the way. I can't speak too much on it, but it's in the works. I'm gonna start a podcast. I want everybody to go check out my um uh, my video called Bad B A D. Um, it's gonna be hard trying to find it. 
you guys won't have to go through the depths of YouTube and go check it out. Oh, that one Shadow Bandit. Shadow Bandit. I want y'all to run that up. Feel me? Just off the strength, off the love. Go check out my last thing. I just dropped E2 Freestyle. Um, I got a lot of stuff coming in the works. I got a couple of tapes I'm finna drop. This year is the year. Just no holding back. Just let everything loose. Just let it go. Just, uh, you know what I'm saying? I got to just flood the LA. Most definitely. Most definitely. So... How do, how does everything tie into the you like okay the rapper you how do you like separate that from the family you Oh that's a good one yeah cuz my creative life comes home with me right like my makeup my when I um, cuz I'm a makeup artist and my creative directing and stuff like that when people come to me for ideas and stuff that comes home with me I spend time when I'm supposed to be sleeping, when I'm supposed to be like with my dogs, or I'm supposed to be watching a movie with my with my moms or whatever, like I'd be like, oh damn, hold on, I gotta finish this real quick, and it'll be like three hours go by, and I'm like, damn, my bad. Yeah. I don't know. I think I think you just gotta find a perfect blend, cause no matter what, that's who you is, and that's your career. So I don't think you should never take work home, but you know, work stress leads to stress in the household. Other issues like that, it's gonna be a part of you. It's like you being a doctor. You won't call, mm -hmm. but you gotta learn how to make everything work. I'm gonna be man. You a man? You know how to go. You, you gotta Most make definitely. everything work. You know, no matter what, it, whatever it takes, you gotta do what you gotta do. Most definitely, man. Most definitely, man. Can you tell everybody where they gonna, like find you, where they could? Tap in if they wanted to do like you know what I'm saying. I'm pretty sure yeah for the for the everybody. but if they want to you know get tapped in with through the music like y'all um follow me on IG at Big Game Dutcho B I G Game Dutcho D U T C H O they um y'all still follow my Twitter it's called X Nine but it's Dutchy don't shoot Dutchy D U T C H I E don't D E N T underscore shoot S H O O T. And then okay. one more thing. My bad. My bad. Go subscribe to my YouTube, ABG Dutch. For sure. We'll definitely And then one more thing, too. Yeah, go. F no, don't even. Don't even skip that. Go subscribe to that. But uh, for the models, like, and on other aspects of stuff like that, you're going to start posting, like, casting calls on your page, or you just going to leave that up to your people's behind the scenes, or. How that's gonna go for the year too with your upcoming projects? I'm actually trying to do this 20 girls versus one rapper, so it's gonna end up leading to me having to do a casting call anyway. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Be on the lookout for that, ladies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, be on the lookout for that. Because well, <laughs> the casting call and stuff. Oh, yeah. Man, Sweet. that's crazy, man. It was just a blessing to be able to hear you, you know get your experiences to how you know you know explain to the young generation like you feel me it's all about the work ethic it's all yeah. that's what it comes down to it's all about the work ethic like mm. the talent going the, the talent gonna be overshadowed by work ethic if you got work ethic. So the, the nigga who went always work gonna always win even the person who got talent if you got the talent and you don't do nothing with it you're gonna be sitting there with talent for the rest of your life you're just talent and then the dude who was working gonna be Uppercase up, <laughs> capital letter up, and you gonna be low ball, lowercase. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So like, just you know, no nothing ever come overnight. Everybody had to work to get to where they got to. Just work, but you just the thing is, the key is you got to find work. It's got to be something you love to do. That's why I make music and want to do all the other stuff I want to do because I love to do that instead of what everybody else love to do. But if you find what you love to do, you want to sit at work. You are just Say this is what I do. Like she says, it's she a lifestyle. <laughs> it's a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? It's just the life you choose. It. It's just what it's you live you. and breathe every single day. It's just naturally what comes to you to express yourself. And you that's why we grind. You already know we at UGTV, man. That's it's it. another Wednesday. FBG Dutchy was here, man. Love, and love, I got love. my favorite co host with me. Puerto Rican Dot Creative on Instagram. You already know where to find me. And if you need anything for makeup, MUA.PR.Creative. Yeah, for sure. Hey, thanks for y'all having me here, man. I appreciate that. Love man, you. thank you for coming in today, bro. Yo, 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 what's that word? It's the KLBG Dutch. And right now you tuned in on Urban Ground Radio.